So hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to discuss how to get internship in 2025 for clinical SAS role. We're going to discuss four points. The very first point is preparation. Before getting internship, how you need to prepare yourself, what you need to learn. Second point is internship opportunities or types. There are different types of internship. So which one you should look for? We're going to discuss that as well. Third point is exactly how to find the opportunities or how to get internship and fourth point is my journey how i started my journey with an internship on this role so let's start with the first point so guys before getting an internship you need to prepare yourself and that is what our first point is so for preparation you can watch our one of the video complete roadmap for clinical SAS programmer 2025 even I'll give the video link in the video description and even in the iCard you can see the video link that is popping up. But I'll tell you a few things which you should must learn. The very first thing is SaaS software, then R software and in the clinical part you should have all the documents knowledge like protocol, SAP, mock shell, SDMIG, CDISC. On top of that, you should have some exposure of creating SDM Adam table listing. Now let's talk about the second point that is types of internship opportunities. Now earlier we were doing internship and that was mostly paid internship. But now we have three different types of internship in 2025. The one very first in which you are getting some pay as an intern, let, let's like it will be a less salary, it will be not that much. And second one is unpaid where you are getting experience but you are not getting any pay for the initial few months. And the third one is paid internship where you have to pay. Instead of you are getting the pay, you have to pay some amount. It can vary from 10, 20,000 to 30, 40,000 where you have to pay, but you will be getting the exposure, real-time exposure on a project. So why you have to pay guys as competition is increasing for internship. That's why these things are happening and uh, some companies are or some institutes are offering separate paid internship. So what you can do guys, you can try one thing that from wherever you are taking training now, if you get some internship from there for three or six months, it will help you a lot to get the exposure because you know companies for initial three or six months of internship, they don't bother from where you did the internship from an institute, from a company. But if you have that knowledge, whatever you are mentioning that I have created these many data set, if you have that knowledge, they're going to consider you. Now coming to the third point, how to get internship in 2025. The very first point is be active on LinkedIn. You know, many people are working on this role as a statistical programmer. You just search them, any of the profile, any of the person who is working on this role. Just look their profile and just see the initial companies from where they started their journey. So might be the initial companies they have started their journey. They, they are willing to, you know, offer you internship because if they got the internship opportunity or, you know, you can also give a try to the same company. You can mail to the company HR manager or director. Same process you can repeat for multiple times. You just search another person. You just check their profile who are working already on this role and see which is his first or her first company. So if they have given opportunity to many freshers, so they might give you this opportunity to you as well. Second step you need to follow that guys, talk to founders or managers or directors of small or mid-size CRO. You can directly ping to them that, hey, I'm a fresher and I'm looking for internship. What happened, there are high chances if the company is small, so the response you can get quickly and even their process of, you know, Hiring an intern is much faster than a bigger company because a big company have their protocol or, you know, their own way of hiring process. So it's easy to get an intern in a mid or small size company rather than in a big size company. And third step, you need to follow that show your work on LinkedIn. So whatever you have learned and especially about the clinical part, just show them, just create some PPTs and show your work. And if you have learned softwares like SAS and R, so instead of just posting basic things, you can also post how you can automate the things using macro, how you can automate the variables, how you can automate the process of creating table listing. Okay, you can try this. It's not like you need to mandatorily do in this way. Whatever you are learning, post it in a good way that it should be easy to understand by everyone. And guys, if you feel that 
it is okay for you even if you are getting unpaid internship whenever you are connecting to anyone on linkedin even to the founder or managers or hrs you can directly tell to them that even if it is an unpaid internship or unpaid job i am ready to do because i am looking for experience you can tell them and once you get experience maybe the same company will pay you or you have multiple other options because now you got experience and guys talking about the next step where you have to pay for an internship so you can simply search on google you can search on chat gtp or even you can consider us as well in clinical study academy we do offer paid internship as well for 3 to 6 months as well and for 1 year as well so you can connect us if you have any questions related to this paid internship you can call us on 8733986003 now let's talk about my journey that how i started my journey with an internship so like you only i was looking for job here and there and applying here and there and finally i got to know from one of my friend that there is one company who is providing paid internship but i thought that why i need to pay for an internship the company should pay this was the thought way back it was in my mind and then i thought okay let's take a risk let's pay that internship money it was not that much it was around 35 something so i paid the money i started my journey and got some good exposure there and after getting some good exposure i started getting calls from some big mnc or mid size mnc i have given the interview and then i cracked the interview and guys the whole journey took good amount of time from learning to getting an internship and then getting an job in a big cro and even 7 years or 6 years back i have written a post where i was simply telling that every company is looking for you know experience employee you can just pause this video and read this post this will help you a lot that whatever you are going through now it is the same process through which everyone have gone through okay nothing new so i hope guys you got some knowledge and clarity from this video and if you found this video useful give a like and if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section that's all for today's video thank you everyone and bye bye everyone